Guys, I'm so excited because finally I get to stand more than two meters away from the beautiful Kate from Go Away. Kate, so nice to see you. I can't believe it's been three years since we yeah. saw you in Rotterdam. So I'm so happy to see you. <laughs> and uh, it's great to be here in Spain in the Eurovision pre party. I'm really happy. <laughs> Yeah, well, we were talking before and you didn't get to do a, a pre-party uh, for Spain in 2021, obviously because it was COVID time, so the kind of performing to a live audience was very limited. How does it feel since COVID now that you've been able to do all these incredible shows around the world as well? You've done Canada, North America. Yeah. So um, uh, we want to be a part of every Eurovision activity, but uh, uh, right now we after three years after Eurovision, we have a lot of concerts, a lot of tours, a lot of festivals, and sometimes it's uh, we uh, it, it's hard to, to, to change something and to be a part of uh, Eurovision parties. Uh, but today we're here, and uh, I'm alone without my boys because we have uh, reasons. Uh, but uh, uh, today I'm in uh, Madrid, and uh, it's it's really cool because I really want to feel a Spanish audience and uh, uh, and to feel this country. Yeah, well, a Spanish audience, when it comes to Eurovision, are absolutely crazy. So you will see when you perform uh, this evening how crazy a Spanish audience uh, can be. And we have to ask, as you mentioned, how are the boys as well? Uh, other boys right now in Ukraine. Uh, we're waiting for our tour. In, uh, the, it tour, it starts in the Netherlands. Uh, after Netherlands, we're going to, we come back to Ukraine. And after Ukraine, we go to uh, Germany, uh, Spain... And uh, so Spain, and uh, um, I, I don't remember. It's just a long tour uh, with uh, a lot of uh, performances in other in, in different countries. But I know that in this year we uh, will be a part of uh, Eurovision in Malmo. We will perform in uh, Euro Village. So, if you want, we we, we can uh, see each other. Well, we will definitely be seeing you uh, at Euro Village in Malmo. We can't wait. It's only. What, just over a month away, which is insane how fast the time uh, the time goes. But just to ask about your uh, your tour, because it starts in the spring. You've mentioned some of the places you will go to. Uh, when will tickets be available for people to buy? Uh, all tickets uh, you can find in our uh, site. Uh, site, yes, in, yes, and uh, in our social media right now. Uh, sometimes we made uh, some uh, posts, uh, some information, and you can find everything in this site. Yeah, I mean, we can't wait to see you on tour, but obviously we've been catching up with some of the shows that you've done since Eurovision, and you have been everywhere. I mean, UK, you've done Canada, what other countries yeah. have you have you done? And so many new fans from around the world, which is crazy. Yes, it's because uh, after Eurovision, uh, a lot of uh, festival was in our life, and it's like Glastonbury Festival, a Pink Folk Festival in the Netherlands. Uh, oh my God. It was a lot of uh, festival. It's rock festival, indie rock festival, electronic festival, and in all of this festival, our music uh, was. Uh, um, people come to our music to listen to our music, and uh, everyone was happy. So, and I'm happy too because uh, I really want to show my uh, good emotions for other people. It's the reason why I every time I go to stage. So, and, and your incredible voice. Uh, <laughs> Yes. <laughs> oh, we know it's okay. But when do you sleep? You're doing all these shows. How do you relax? Uh, so uh, about sleep, it's my pain because sometimes I have no time to 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 sleep because uh, for me uh, it's uh, it's a long way. It's a long trip. It's a long. Uh, I need to prepare for every concert, and uh, sometimes it's really hard for me. But when you go to stage and see a lot of these people, uh, you forget about everything because uh, energy of uh, our um, audience is uh, the best uh, part of my life, and uh, I really appreciate and I, I'm really happy that uh, it's uh, that these people happens in my life. So thank you very much for your energy. Now we can't do an interview with you without talking about Rotterdam and, and Eurovision. Mm -hmm. Such a great result and so much support for you guys uh, in Rotterdam. How did it feel kind of after the, the grand final when you came off stage, you'd uh, got this fantastic, I think you came fourth. Was it fourth? Yeah. Fourth. How, I mean, how did it feel after? Uh, it, it was fifth place. Oh, fifth place. F f fifth, yes. Should have been fourth. Fifth, but people voting for us and uh, uh, televoting was uh, second place. Yes. 
Yes, and it it it's uh, it it means for us a lot because uh, uh, I know that Eurovision it's a contest. It's um, um, we need to. Um, it, it was very stressful for us because we uh, was presented our country, and in Ukraine, Eurovision is the main contest in all the world because it is uh, the main stage. Uh, people in Ukraine thinking that Eurovision is uh, the big European stage, and it's a chance for Ukrainian young uh, artists to be famous. And uh, so, but uh, Ukrainian people want to uh, uh, want to Ukrainian artists. They they want to win. And uh, when we go to Eurovision, Ukrainian artists, it's like a, uh, uh, I don't worry about it. <laughs> it's like a, a symbol of Ukraine. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, it was a little bit stress uh, for us. But uh, mm, when we come back to Ukraine after Rotterdam, uh, we was uh, famous and we was a uh, legend because it was the first time when we performed in Ukrainian language. Yes. And it's, uh, it means a lot for Ukrainian uh, people. So, um, but after Eurovision, we have a, lo a lot of uh, shows in Europe, in other countries, and uh, uh, not in Ukraine. <laughs> and uh, Ukrainian people is waiting for us. Uh, we, m uh, we made some concerts in Ukraine, and it was totally full. I could imagine. I could imagine. Yeah. Well, obviously, uh, kind of the you know the Eurovision community outside of that, everyone will know you for Shum, but uh, there is uh, other new music that people should check out, isn't there? Uh, yes, we uh, right now we are uh, going to perform uh, or going to uh, present our uh, song, new song uh, with video clip, and it will be in April. Uh, we're waiting for this moment because we, uh, I'm hard uh, work for it, and uh, it was uh, we made this video in Estonia. Uh, with a great um, team and uh, it will be a new uh, song but we have a lot of new songs that we uh, want to uh, to present but uh, we band in a tour and you can uh, make uh, new songs in your mind you can uh, uh, write it in, in, in uh, you, you can um, you can save it in your dictaphone but uh, if you want to release it to people, you need to work in studio. Yes. And if you, uh, when you, uh, every time when you're in tour, uh, it's very hard to find uh, a time. So be, uh, it's a reason because uh, it's, it's a reason why when I go to Ukraine, uh, uh, I, I I go to studio and try and uh, I have a week, uh, and uh, in this week I'm trying to do uh, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, stuff to to to, to start and to, to send it to sound engineer because it's it's really hard work. I would love to watch you in a studio creating music. Oh my God, it's very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> but um, of course, we have to uh, give a, a quick nod as well to Aliona, Aliona and Jerry Heil, who are uh, representing Ukraine uh, this year in Ukrainian language again, yeah. which is fantastic. Uh, have you been able to give them any advice? Have you been able to catch up with them at all? Uh, so I think that Jerry uh, uh, and Lona Lona is a big artist in Ukraine and uh, they have a good uh, team, uh, good crew and I think that uh, they know what they do and uh, they don't ask me about everything. So uh, I just uh, to uh, wish him uh, um, to enjoy this moment because your vision is stressful because it's contest but you need to um, you need to try uh, to enjoy it because yes. it's really it's really another atmosphere i was in a, a big shows in all the world but in eurovision it's a special atmosphere uh, that you uh, can't find in another places yeah, well, hopefully you'll be able to catch up with them uh, here in Madrid because they're performing uh, as well. So hopefully you'll be able to sit down with them and give them some advice because you are a Eurovision legend. You're a Ukrainian legend. Uh, and we always love catching up with you. But we know you've got a very busy day ahead of you. You're performing uh, tonight as well. So uh, wish you a fantastic performance. We can't wait to see you on stage uh, later on. But lastly, have you got a message for all of your fans? And there are thousands and thousands of them. Okay, uh my lovely people, thank you very much for everything what you did for us, because for your voting, for your support, for your support in Ukraine, because uh, you, uh, your love is changed our life. And uh, it's, uh, we was no name band in Ukraine before Eurovision. And uh, because of you, thank you very much for this, because uh, uh, our life uh, right now, it's like, 
Yes, we have a lot of problems in Ukraine. We have uh, sometimes it's very hard to go to stage, uh, but uh, your love is. Uh, is, is matter. Your life is uh, change everything. Your life uh, help us to live, uh, help us to feel alive, and uh, uh, you are our inspiration. Thank you very much. Uh, Slava Ukraini. Hiram Slava. Uh, thank you so much. Always lovely to catch up with you. So happy to be more than uh, less than two meters away from you. Uh, and boys, I hope to see you soon as well. I hope you're doing well. But thank you so much, yeah, Kate. In Amsterdam, maybe. Yes, Amsterdam. Yeah. Are we going to perform an Amsterdam pre party? So, maybe. Are the boys going to be there as well? Yes. Ah, yes. okay. I'm coming. I'm coming, boys. I will see you soon. Kate, thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, always a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you.